What is up, you beauties? My name is Bat Chat Begins, and as you can tell, I'm very sick. Um, I contracted bronchitis during the last week of my um, my college, and I had to take it. I had to take my college finals, coughing a whole bunch, and the last few days have been uh, quite rough for me. But I have been feeling a little bit better, so I figured we'd go ahead and get into some. Uh, gameplay that I've had in the last couple days, and uh, I got this this ISU 130 out of a crate, and I I never really thought too much of the ISU 130 because I figured tier for tier, the SU 100Y is a lot better, right? Because it's got more alpha for the tier, right? You do a much more significant chunk of people's hit points at tier six with the 130 than you do at tier eight, but this tank can still be an absolute menace. Just keep in mind that like the SU-100Y, it has this special mechanic with its premium ammo where it has double AP, but the premium AP does more damage with less penetration. So it's sort of the other way around from your normal tank, uh, from your normal tanks when they shoot premium. As you can see, we did try and blind fire to see if a TD was there and the YAG-88 was there, but um, we unfortunately did miss him. And at this point, I'm trying to play towards the ISC-130 strengths, right? It's got a lot of DPM, so I'm trying to hold a choke point here and potentially put a lot of hurt onto the enemy team. Now, keep in mind, this is a tank destroyer that I would fully, fully recommend running um, Rammer on. It does not get a ton of penetration when running calibrated, only about 10 millimeters, and it's not going to make that much of a difference. Therefore, you are literally just neutering your DPM and get putting yourself at a disadvantage when brawling with this tank if it does come down to that. As you can see, I am more than willing to trade one shell with the Yag Tiger 8.8 because I have a much higher alpha damage on my rounds than he does. We are kind of in a bit of a sticky spot right now. They are capping the base and while this thing does have decent, um, uh, what do you call it, decent uh, gun depression, it doesn't really have, um, it doesn't really have that much, so you have to be careful. Now, obviously we're getting blind shot. It's not the YAG, so it's got to be the 5041. And we do escape with our lives just in time. So now it's kind of tricky. I can't poke far enough to get uh, gun depression, really, so I have to hope that the VK does not want to focus me. And it doesn't look like that's the case right now. I could see, just by taking a look out of the corner of my eye, that the 54 is probably still camping that part of the bush. And now that the VK is there, I think my only option here is to get unspotted, back up, and try to get some damage onto either the 54 or the Maotian. Luckily, the 54 is not looking our way, meaning that we can go ahead and cross prematurely, even if we were spotted. And we're going to keep getting those juicy 500 plus rolls into these tanks. And that's what's so much fun about this tank. I would seriously recommend picking it up if you're just wanting to have a good time. I don't have a crazy win rate in this tank, but I do have quite a bit of fun in this tank. Just because it's a lot of fun to play in, you know, getting those crazy rolls. It's like a Borsig almost with an 8.8 .8 second reload. Now... Funnily enough, we've done 5.2k damage, and I would have been, I would have had the record if if those last two shots weren't um, forced low rolls because of how much health the enemies had left. So technically, we could have broken the NA record, but as you can see, 5.558 damage, 5,558 damage. That is number two on the NA leaderboards for the ISU 130, and I managed to get it within 30 games. So I just thought I would share you guys share that with you guys during this sickness time and hopefully I'll have a good video out for you guys about 8.0 tomorrow. If you want to see my team, there you go. Did just about half of the damage on the team, which is pretty awesome, I must say. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you're looking forward to update 8.0 news that will be all on this channel and more coming tomorrow. This has been Bat Chat Begins and I will see you guys in the next one.